everybody to this anime game Otaku95. Last episode, I just barely starting to travel the Thunderstorm, man. It's a bit, a little bit difficult because I have to go fight my way through the machines. And right now, I think I'm in the center of where the theme was originally created before it went all chaotic or something like that. So. What's gonna happen next? Let's go play. Okay, this is where I last stop in the last episode, so. Oh, I go this way. To see this force? It's both. Well, we have to find out. Yeah, let me just look around and see if there's any items I need to get. Okay, then. Let's override it. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. not puzzle okay let's see if I could uh, see let's see okay let me see if I could try it uh oh Let's see. Nope. Come on. Oh, I think I'm almost there. It's Aurea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been closed, but I am Oh no, she's glitching again. Yeah. Fortress. Is that even 
possible. Yep. And what will happen to the spirit if we do? Then the spirit's gonna be destroyed too. I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. Yeah, so true. Uh, we have to get away to fight the machines. You to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Okay, there's a core. Now, I, if I remember the last, the core. if I remember the last time, I had to override the core, and then as soon as I override it, the machine's gonna come at me and kill me with everything they got. So. I gotta be really, 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 really careful how am I supposed to do it, so... Oh, whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Okay, so how do I get across over there? So, anyway, for me to... Need to destroy this thing or override it. Yeah, but first, how am I to get a cross over there? Oh, there's how. I just barely noticed it right now, so... Let's get a cross. <gasps> oh! Okay, let's see. Okay, I do not see any machines near me, so I'm gonna override it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Ow! Ow! Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, 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 avoid it, avoid it, avoid it! Ah! Stop it! 
No! Ah! I need more health! You guys, keep them busy! I need to get more health! Stop it! Okay, I'll just hide behind you. Oh no! Oh! No! Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away! No! I told you to get away from me! Uh oh. Nah. No. Stop it. Come on, go, 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 Ah! You almost put me to push me to the lava. Ah! Get away, get away! No, 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 tower! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys distract them while I overwrite this! Come on, 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 come Uh oh. Yes! Finish him! Ah! That was too close. I thought he was gonna make the final kill on me. You spoke of the tower. What must be done with it? Okay, now let me just grab some of the supplies before I could move on. Grab some of the medicines. Man, this was one of the toughest battles I ever did. My other toughest battle was battling the Dundo Jaw. And that thing was big like a T Rex. Okay, almost done. So I need a few more items. Okay, now let's go get rid of the demon. Oh, there it is.
Okay, let's get rid of the Damien so we could. Are you okay? Strengths destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. What does that puzzle mean? Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Oh, oh. oh no, she's dying. My sister. <gasps> she's dead. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Okay, now skip the cauldron and yeah, we sadly have to leave uh, yeah behind so let's get out of here Okay, are they gonna make it? Are they gonna make it alive? Little cola snow.
Gaius gone? What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Okay, now what? So, we're just gonna go to uh, Tails Retreat and have a funeral or something? Yeah, so. The Fulton Warriors aren't over yet, so. Let's sit. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Okay, let me go talk to... Our talks forced. No, I think I, I think I should take, talk to Cyan first. So, since he's a little closer, and maybe I go talk to Our Talk. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's. I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Oh, let's see, was Hephaestus destroyed? It was the daemon, Hephaestus. Destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It what? infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback, it's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Oh, let's see, you and have a sister. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. 
I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. Okay, and what do you know about Hephaestus and Still Dawn? I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions brought them to life she destroyed herself to try to contain them but it didn't work they all got free out into the world thank you Aloy this information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming okay and why Hephaestus wants to kill him why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines the Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines correct machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described yes we all hunt machines for parts this must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression it is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive well fire claws are discouraging that's for sure what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants. I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Okay, I'm gonna tell you I found something to calm the machines. I ran across this strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. Uh, let's see. 
Eh, I ain't gonna waste time talking, so... We should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Araya. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Uh, let's see. I guess you have to use your judgment. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. Yeah, let's go check on him. Oh, there you are. My chieftain. Just am I. Where do you wish? I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you be alive along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths Araya would be alone and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost either way I would not have been able to protect her let's see look at what she accomplished because of her we destroyed the cauldron, forced out the daemon, and saved the spirit. She understood what had to be done. Yes, and I failed to listen. You didn't fail. A shaman should always have the ear of their chieftain. Yet I turned her away, my own sister. I was foolish, but she knew better. Though I grieve for her passing, at last, I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long, she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now, I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides... It already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now, too, has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. It would seem your time among the Banuk was to waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds on their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter-killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the Cut Silence. Heard some things about the Banuka Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuka sent after you? before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brain silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. 
I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Okay, so with that, I'm officially done with the frozen wild side missions, and now I, I could go back to the main mission, or I could do some few things before I could go to Bitter Crime. So, what should I do now? Okay, there's another side mission I need to do, and there's a fire crow out there, and well, it looks like I need to kill them off. So, let's see. And sadly, I don't have any help. Uh oh. It knows me. Uh, let me see. Nope. I still don't have enough ice power to get rid of it. Maybe I could kill him from the distance. Knows me. Ah! Yeah, one, you coward. chance ah come on one down one more to go ah Come on. 
Uh, get away, get away. Come on. Come on. Uh, I need to get a better position. Get to a higher ground. Oh, okay, he's distracted. Okay, maybe I could be a little sneaky and then figure out to. Uh oh. Okay, I still need a few more things to destroy. Okay, so I need a few more hits and then I'll win. Come on. 
Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it says a few more hits. There you go. Well, this was a little bit easier than the last fire cry I fought in the volcano. It's because this time I have a better hiding spot so I could kill it and I don't have to worry about dying. Okay, before I move on on killing the rest of the fire cross and there's another side mission, but I'll get to it later in the next episode so until next time this is anime game otaku 95 bye